Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oscar Britton, and for those of you who don't know, I develop most of my games in Game Maker Studio 2. And for the last few months, I've been working on a simple faux 3D engine within Game Maker Studio. It's not totally finished yet, and I doubt I'll ever release it publicly because I'm lazy. Anyone who's stubbornly stuck using Game Maker for years will have no doubt seen the unfinished Neom demo by Downwell creator Ojiro Fumoto. Check the link in the description for the fantastic arcade talk that relates to it. It's a sick tech demo, but it suffers from a few slowdown issues due to it relying largely on the layered 3D technique. If you're unfamiliar, layered 3D is a method whereby flat sprites are stacked on top of one another and then shifted slightly on their y-axis in order to give an illusion of 3D. It's an interesting workaround, but to date I've only ever seen it used for small effects in games like backgrounds or menus, by which I mean I've only used it for backgrounds and menus, no I don't play other people's games, ew it's so gross. The Neom demo is super popular because it was really really polished, like really polished. I've published retail games with less polish than that two month demo. It's not just faux 3D, it has like camera rotation, a lower camera angle to all the other examples I've ever seen. It is to date unsurpassed. But where we're going, we don't need ropes. <laughs> Made more sense before I cut all this stuff out of the script. So here are the three things you need, little chicken. Number one, increase performance so you don't get review bombed by 12 year olds playing on an Alvi PC. Number two, camera rotation to justify the whole thing. Number three, an adjustable camera angle so you can lord it over people when you make your own badly recorded YouTube tutorial. I'm starting from the assumption that you either already know how to get layered through you working, or you just like the sound of my voice. I'm cool with either way, but if you don't know how to get layered 3D working, fucking Google it. Like, why are you here? Okay, so the performance problem. Naturally, drawing 100 sprites all layered on top of one another is fucked for performance, so you need to straddle that sweet, skewed sprite 3D. This works using draw sprite pos function to update the corners of a sprite as you rotate the camera, giving the illusion of a 3D plane. I heard some people complain about how draw sprite pos distorts sprites. If it bothers you, download the draw sprite skewed function from the YoYo marketplace. With that function, you need to use the length dir function to ensure the sprite's y axis stays parallel to the sides of the screen while the x axis rotates with the camera angle. It should look something like this. No, I'm not walking you through it step by step. The script is long and you need to fucking learn. Once you have that working, you need to get your depth sorting uh, sorted. Because you'll be rotating the camera, you need to use length dir again to work out where your object is in relation to the top and bottom of your viewport, not the top and bottom of the room. The room's X and Y mean nothing now, they're fucking dead to you. If you need a step by step, there's a link in the description to Backspace Cadet's tutorial that I basically copied to get depth sorting working properly. Once you have that, you can pretty much create walls. But let's say you want to create a building with a pitched roof. Well, baby, you're gonna need some of that layered 3D, but you need it drawn on top of the wall. This is actually really easy. You just need a Z offset argument in your layered 3D script that starts drawing the layers higher on the Y axis. So instead of saying draw sprite at X and Y, you're saying draw sprite at X and Y minus the Z offset, where the Z offset is the number of pixels higher you want it drawn. Then you just need to make sure your layered 3D script is placed after the skewed 3D script on the object's draw call, and voila, you can now stack your layered roof on top of your skewed walls. That sounds really stupid. Start off by opening your room settings, or if you're a fucking badass, you can do this in code. Change your view width to be wider than 16 by nine, like 18 by nine or something. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. You run that and everything on screen will kind of look squished vertically. So then you need to add a camera height sprite offset to stretch the sprites back to their correct Y scale. I calculated this by adding a global variable that is equal to the view height divided by the view width and then I multiply that by two. Then all your objects, you multiply their Y scale by this camera height sprite offset global variable so that if the view's height to width ratio changes, the sprite will stretch in the opposite way. This bit is optional. I can see why a lot of people will be too lazy to do it. So you do what you want, I'm not your mum. I don't really expect anyone to follow all this. This is more me hoping that someone will watch this video who was already working on a faux 3D engine and this will be kind of the push or inspiration they needed to finish it. If you're still like, Game Maker, <laughs> whatever. Then let me show you all the cool games you could have been making using this technique. 
fuckhead. You could have been making something like Metal Gear Solid, Grandia, Disguise, or PT, probably. I don't know, I never played it. Maybe it was isometric. Please like and subscribe. This brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon.